when it comes to issues of destiny, destiny issues, the number one enemy to your destiny is witchcraft. A lot of witchcraft, they don't uh, bewitch you because of where you are. Their focus is the future they perceive. When greatness is perceived, witchcraft is activated. If you don't deal with witchcraft, you will never fully fulfill your destiny. Witchcraft effects in your life, they don't end with time or they don't go away over time. No, because people say, give it time. No, no, no. Witchcraft gets stronger with time. The Lord told me that yesterday. He said, tell them, witchcraft gets stronger with time. The Bible says in Psalm 74 verse 20, have respect to the covenant. In other words, have respect to your quality covenant walk with God. Right? Why? For the earth, he says for, in fact, he says for the dark places of the earth. Somebody said dark places. Talk to me. Say dark places. There are some families that are dark places. Dark places. That's why you need the light of the word. If you, if you come from a family where there's witchcraft, which is everyone. Witchcraft is done in dark secret places. So you need the light of the word. You need the light of the word. That's what the Bible says in John chapter number one. He says, and that line shines in darkness. And dark darkness comprehended it not. So the more of the word I have, the more I am empowered to deal with the powers of darkness. A wordless Christian is one who does not have light. Have respect to the covenant for the Dark places of the earth are full of the haunts of cruelty. Witch, witchcraft operators are very cruel in nature. They do not have an ounce of mercy in them. So when they are doing their witchcraft operation upon you, they don't spare you. Which brings me to the question, why do you spare them when you pray? So if you're an African like myself, and you're not spiritually violent, you'll be a cheap victim for witches. We're in the middle of a series about the strongman. Why are we talking about witchcraft? Because the strongman uses witchcraft against the saints. He has witchcraft agents that he assigns. Many of them. And they're there in your family. And there are people who are so naive, like Eve. They don't believe that I couldn't pass that off. <laughs> they don't believe that any of their relatives are, are wicked. And yet in Matthew 10, 36, the Bible says your enemies shall be from your relatives. Your real enemies, they are from your own household. Your own household. And when they are from your own household, they, they, they have information about you, about where you are going. Are you listening to me? Sometimes, you know, you are celebrating Ruku Jabula. You drive your new car, you show your mom. Your mom is excited. She phones your auntie. Who is not as excited as your mom? And then problems begin. I decree over your life. Whatever information satanic altars receive about you, they will not be able to do anything about it in the name of Jesus. Numbers 23, 23. God hates witchcraft so much that... He said there shall be no more divination, no more sorcery against Jacob. Now, it must be said. It must be said. So if you are in a service like this and you are quiet, you are in trouble. You must say what I say. It must be said. So you can know that you are supposed to deal with witchcraft. But if you don't say it, witches will deal with you. It must be said. There is no more sorcery. It must be said. There's no more di divination. It must be said. There's no more incantation. It must be said. God hates witchcraft so much that, that the sentence he passed over witchcraft is suffer a witch not to live. So the Holy Bible authorizes me to kill witches. Every wizard, witch in your family, 
that wants you dead, they will die in your place. They will die in your place. I said they will die in your... Oh, some people are not saying amen. <laughs> I said they must die in your place. Whoever has a covenant with Lucifer and part of that covenant is they want you to die. They are the ones who will die in your place. Whoever has dug a grave for you or a pit for you, I'll show you from the scripture, that same pit they will be buried in it. I said they will be buried in it. I decree they will be buried in it. You will not die before your time because of a wizard. Ah. So until you do ruthless spiritual warfare, which is will remain. You see, if you are still just talking to witches, they won't let you go. They didn't let the children of Israel go until they were seriously plagued. So I'm going to teach you step by step. You see, we've been defensive. We're going on the offensive now. We... <laughs> One of the things that Moses did is he turned water in the Nile River to blood. Am I correct? Why did he do that? Why? Because the source of power of Egyptians was the God of the water. So if you want to destroy witches and wizards, you attack their God by your God. Hey, I wish somebody would understand the message. When David was fighting with Goliath, that battle was a battle on many different fronts. It was a battle between David and, and, and Goliath. That's man on man. It was the battle of, of, of uh, 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 nations, Israel versus the Philistines. But it was also a battle of deities. A battle of gods. The God of Israel Hello, who's Jehovah? And the gods of the Philistine. That's why the Bible says, and Goliath, go and read it, he cursed David by his gods. So if you deal with the God behind the man, that curse is nullified. Uh, we're going to another level in this spiritual warfare thing. Are you listening to me? So in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost, I declare and I decree the gods of the witches, they must fall down to the ground. By our God, they must fall down to the ground. Jehovah, rise in your power and show them who's boss. Show them you are the almighty God. Yes, they have got power. Yes, they are mighty. But we have the almighty Galatians 3.1 you can be bewitched into foolishness. A lot of unexplainable behavior is due to witchcraft. Oh, foolish Galatians. What did he address them as? As foolish. Something had made them fools. Then he explains the, where the foolishness is coming from. Who has bewitched you? You can be bewitched into foolishness. You can be bewitched into bad decisions. You can be bewitched. Whatever altar. Where you are under the spell of that altar. Every false prophet. Every false prophet. That you were connected to. Who bewitched you? In the name of Jesus, we cut off their hand from your life. I said, We cut off their hand from your life. I said, We cut off their hand from your life. It doesn't matter whether you used to call them Papa. We cut off their hand from your life. Ah, in the kingdom, I pussy Hallelujah. The Bible says, Arise and shine, for your light has come. Not Kupusiswa. You don't rise, you rise by light. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, and by the power of the Holy Ghost, every power of witchcraft that has made you a fool, I reverse that witchcraft in the name of Jesus. Wherever your mind has been controlled by a satanic altar, where you stepped into that altar, I declare and I decree your freedom is at hand. In the name of Jesus, I release this word. Be free from the occultic altars of false prophets masquerading as men of God carrying Bibles that they do not know. The devil is a liar. You are free, child.
child of God. You are free, child of God. You are free, child of God. I free you, child of God. I free you, Kadabahaya. Even you who's online, who is connected to false prophets, I free you. Zeku pusisa atidi, 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 guita wan mafusa, atidi. People must be enlightened. Hallelujah. Jesus said, woe unto you, for you have taken away the key of knowledge. Every false prophet, woe unto you, woe unto you, woe unto you. Every man of God in court, woe unto you, woe unto you. Every satanic altar that pretends to be an altar of God, woe unto the man who stands on that altar in the name of Jesus. I speak with authority, apostolic grace, with spiritual backing behind me of Bishop Manjoro and behind Bishop Manjoro Babaguti and behind Babaguti Jesu and behind Jesus the Father. From that hierarchy, I speak against false prophets who have bewitched people that people go into churches with assets and they walk out empty handed. That is witchcraft. I come against church witchcraft in the name of Jesus. Any church where people go with money and resources and they come out empty, that is a satanic altar. For the path of the just shines more and more until the perfect day. In the name of Jesus, be free from those churches. Be free from those churches. I said be free from those churches. In the name of Jesus. In Psalm 18, verse 17 and 18, quick, quick, he put it there. He says, he delivered me from my strong enemy. From those who hate me. For they were too strong for me. Not he was too strong for me. They were. Let me teach you a new prayer point. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray. That every satanic gang up. Against me. That satanic gang up, it must be scattered in the name of Jesus. I speak Isaiah 54, verse number 15. They shall gather together, but not for my sake. <laughs> they shall gather together, but not for my sake. Every gathering intended for me, that gathering... May it start problems for the gatherers. I said, may it start problems for the gatherers. Whoever gathers against you, problems will begin. I'll show you from the scripture. Problems will begin. Whenever they gather against you, one guy to sauna, one guy to stroke, one guy to sauna, one guy to sauna, one guy to sauna, one guy to partial blindness. In the name of Jesus, we speak that word. We've been too quiet. We've been too merciful on these people. In the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost, uh, we strike altars of witches. Uh, I said we strike altars of witches. Uh, Lord, they are too strong for me. Uh, marvelous, come here. Lord, they are too strong for me. Uh, 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 Jehovah, arise. Psalm 68, verse number 1. And scatter strong witches. Uh, and scatter strong wizards. Uh, arise, O oh Lord. Uh, and scatter them. Uh, they are too strong for marvelous. They are too strong for marvelous. They are too strong for her. They are too strong for her. So God, why don't you go ahead? Why don't you go ahead and set her free? They are too strong for her. In the name of Jesus. Verse 18. If I go back to verse 17. And the, he delivered me from my strong enemies. From those, again plural. You see, you see there? Not him, those who hate me. They are those who hate you. And are doing something about it spiritually. Today, <laughs> I speak to your haters. That have turned their hatred into witchcraft. I address them in the realm of the spirits. 
Every hater of your destiny be quenched in the name of Jesus. May they be quenched in the name of Jesus. Whoever hates you, they will fall for your sake. I said they will fall for your sake. God in the Bible in Psalm 89, round about verse 23, he beat down David's enemies because they hated him. Whoever hates you without a cause, in the name of Jesus, may angels of the living God, may they beat them down in the name of Jesus. Oh, I need a living amen from somebody. I said, may they be beat down. Get ready for a showdown and a beat down. Psalm 2, Psalm 2, verse 1. And why do the heathens rage? Why even us? Why do the heathens rage? And the people imagine a vain thing. I want to deal with that. Because they are what are called, listen to this Joshua, satanic imaginations. I want to talk about the Imagination So it starts with imagination. Hans, why do they imagine business? Why are they imagining it? He asks a question. Why? It's a rhetorical question. Lift up your right hand. Say, every satanic imagination against my destiny. Passage, please. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. That satanic imagination. I crush it by fire. I crush it by fire. Jehovah God. At imagination level. They imagine us closing the church. At imagination level. They imagine a divorce. At imagination level, they imagine an accident. So Jehovah God, at imagination level, destroy their plans. Hallelujah. You know, listen to this. My wife said something. She said, because I, I'm, I'm, I'm just keep having issues with my throat and, you know, I, I even sent a, a prayer request on the group. And my wife said, she's just remembering now that there was one demonic manifestation that said, It is a satanic imagination. They are saying it because when I speak, there are things that are happening in people's lives. Lift up your right hand. Say every evil imagination against the man of God. That imagination, we shut it down in the name of Jesus. Listen. Witchcraft is most dangerous when they are hiding. They are what are called friendly enemies. <laughs> you see, there's what is called strange woman witchcraft. There are men who are married but are in a relationship that they can't get out of. It's not a relationship. 
It's a cage. He can't explain why he's going. But he's still going. And the Lord said, most of those, even the young ladies, Mazlano, they use a lot of witchcraft. Do you know why? In the last days, the ratio of men to women, the Bible says, shall be seven to one. So for one man, there are seven options of a woman. So if the residing queen is carnal, she'll be dealing with seven. You're quiet. And most of this witchcraft, the way they do it is the residing woman, can I go deeper with this? The residing woman and her husband end up not having sex. It is an act of witchcraft to stop sexual interest in your marriage. It is so that this harlot becomes well favored. Okay. See, some people are, are frowning because they don't believe that there's a connection. <laughs> between witchcraft hello and strange women I'll show you from your Bible because you won't be convinced until I show you go to Nahum chapter 3 just look it up on the screen there and the war to the bloody city it is full of lies and robbery the prey Departeth not. Give me, give me the next verse. Let's see. Okay, go to verse 4. He says, because of the multitude. He's talking about witchcraft. Do you agree? Because from verse 1, he's talking about witchcraft. So we assume he's talking about the same thing. He says, because of the multitude of the whoredoms of the well-favored harlot. That harlot that you are favoring. Hello? She doesn't only sleep with you. Multitude of whoredoms. Ew. Do you know, Clarice, one of the things that these women do is pusisa murume. What do they do? They make sure kuduwaku ignore both mukadzwako and even your family. A man who, begin, who has an affair outside of marriage and begins to, f to, to, to not support his family. Hello? It is an act of witchcraft. It doesn't make sense. Could we tell Anna? Nemkazuako. Hello? Munevana three, four. Wako ignova nevao. Maria se akwenda kune the well favored harlot. Uh, even, let's just take spirituality out of it. It doesn't make what? It doesn't make sense. Whatever does not make sense, there's a spiritual affliction. Yeah, I mean, men, men, men do their things fine, but the moment they walk, ignore Muri. There's another force. Yes, I'm a real battle. I don't go one. Something is not right. So what these women do is they consult altars. Hello? Without emotions. And they send a mariake. That's why Maria is in one place. Because it has been demonically summoned. And most of the time, the men will tell you, I don't even love her. And many of the times, she's even uglier than the wife. Hello? 
Hello? And if the man makes a mistake, he could see, as of some cards, wake. Oisa Hodom Mumba. Hodom, I mean, because I'm. We dealt with the case here with my wife. I won't mention the name. They, they've since left the church. The woman was now asking out, asking my sons for sex. And the man was there. And we later found out that this woman had a history of witchcraft. A serious history of witchcraft. So as a result, the man is caged. And here in America, because you see, a lot of these whole domes, that's a covenant. Listen, you need to pray. Not very emotional. Because remember, Muruma America, in the last day, seven to one. Target is Saturn in day seven. You're just stressing it too. Apostle, Apostle, can you imagine? But two, at least that one, two, and I'm wrong. These are the last days. The women are looking at me funny. I'm just telling you serious prayer points. Kuna matakwa kum kazi kuka kundwa nekuroya kwe hure. Unotoro amurume. Please don't try and misunderstand me. I'm not saying all those women are witches. Uh uh. I, I didn't say that. So don't try and misunderstand or misquote me. But a lot of them, to sustain the relationship, they need a higher power. So they go to the occult. Meanwhile, we focus on a uniform. 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 You could fake it to a church. It's not a defense against what I'm talking about. You need to rise up and pray. This is my man. Say whatever powers are doing marital witchcraft in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Ghost those powers they are subdued. They are subdued. They are subdued. Say whatever powers want to fish out Men from their homes by witchcraft, they are subdued, they are subdued, they are subdued. Open your mouth and pray somebody.